Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here really quickly and talk to you guys about how I rebranded my graphic design company, CompuArt Design, and I'm so excited. I just relaunched my website yesterday and I'm really excited about this whole process and I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about how I rebranded, the steps that I've taken, and hopefully I can give you some ideas on what it is that you need to do to rebrand or brand your business as well. And sidebar, I just got Invisalign like last week. So bear with me as I'm trying to talk and, you know, get through this. Um, but anyway, back to the subject at hand, rebranding. So for my company, the first step that I took to rebrand my company was redesigning the website which i already had a pre-existing website but i wanted to make sure that i went in had the right branding as far as the color and font choices and all of those things and i wanted to make sure that i had the right dynamic graphics just to bring it to life and make sure that it represented myself my company what it is that i represent and most importantly, making sure that I had a dynamic portfolio showcasing my client list and all of the different projects that I've done for those clients. So personally, when I design websites, I use WordPress um, primarily, but I also do sites depending on what the client their wants and needs are. So I've done things in Wix as well as Squarespace, Shopify, all the different platforms I've worked in. But I really love doing WordPress sites because you can really take the site to the next level and really do some dynamic websites. So my site was already created in WordPress, but like I said, I just wanted to enhance the look and feel. So I have Elementor on my site. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but there's different plugins that you can use in WordPress just to help you get the look and feel and the functionality that you want to need for your business. So I'll probably do another where I can really walk through WordPress and the back end and show you guys how I design my site. But just for a high level overview, I did use WordPress, I did use Elementor, and I was able to really come up with some great design elements while still keeping it really clean and simple, which is kind of my brand and how I like for things to look for my company. So the client list, like I said, was a great piece there. I kind of took it to the next level before I just had different samples but I wanted to make sure that I had the logo for my client and then when you click in there for certain clients that I have listed then you can see like the full range of projects that I've done with some descriptions so I think that it just gives a really good clear view of my capabilities and my style and what it is that I do so for my company if you guys don't know um, CompuArt Design focuses on my graphic and web design skills as well as some of my marketing things and social media and all of that. Um, I do do other things. I am a fine artist where I do drawing and painting and all of that but I kind of have things separate so that's a company I have with my sister then I have CompuArt Design then I have the YouTube thing so Overall, while I have so many different companies and brands, I do like to have some type of a cohesive thread across all of them. And so I mentioned all the time on my YouTube, mostly all of my videos, that my favorite color is purple. And I have added some purple elements to CompuR design as well which goes along with my Subhan Creates and the YouTube. So I think that it's really great when you have a lot of different things that you do, just kind of see what you can do to tie everything in together a little bit, which can help just to have a cohesive look and feel to your specific brand and then your brand overall across all of your different platforms and websites and businesses. So once I got my website, created and done 
the way that I needed it to be. The next step was having a photo shoot, which is the fun thing, right? <laughs> but I have wanted to do a photo shoot probably over the past six months to a year, but I kept putting it off because I already had a headshot that was nice, you know, but it didn't represent the brand. It didn't go with what it is that I am creating with my color and my font choices and all of that. So I honestly have been putting all of this off for quite a while because just with working, you know, a lot of times you put yourself on the back burner and you just don't have a lot of time for all of that. So not to go too far off into it, but I have left my corporate position and I am focusing on my businesses. And I don't know if this is like a forever thing, but I'm truly taking advantage of the opportunity that I have right now to just really go for it. Just really put in the time and the effort to make sure that I get my businesses and my platforms and my websites just where I want it to be. I'm making sure that I do the photo shoots and all the things. So with that being said, I had put off the photo shoot for quite a while and I decided, okay, I definitely want to do this. So I went to a studio called Q11 Photography and I have utilized them in the past for a shoot that I had with my son. And since then, they have grown. They have a new studio, which I had never been to. And it was so beautiful. They have like six different photography studios. They had a beautiful dressing room for me. And I had a 30-minute shoot. So I was only able to do two outfit changes. But I still was in this beautiful dressing room with floor-length mirrors and vanities and it was just a really great experience. I brought my sister with me and definitely took advantage of her because my sister is a fashion designer and she is always having photo shoots and fashion shows for herself, for her models. And so I definitely brought her with me so that she could make sure that I was looking okay to help me with posing. But to be perfectly honest, Q11 makes it so easy for you to even go by yourself because they pose you the photographers definitely help you and show you and tell you what's going to be best what's going to look great for your photos and i brought my sister to do like behind the scenes for me um, during the shoot but they even did behind the scenes as well and they send it to you right before you leave from the studio that day. I decided to do a purple suit because I wanted to represent myself, you know, professionally with a, a nice suit that looked really great. And I definitely utilized my network, my family, my friends, and I will tell you, utilize your people. Okay, I know they're sick of me, but I don't care. <laughs> and I was texting them, which suit should I wear? You know, I had like a light purple suit and a dark purple suit. So I went with the dark purple because most of my graphic elements are light purple. So I wanted to kind of pop off of whatever graphics I create. So when you do your photo shoots, think about all that stuff. You know, I had to think about what's going to look best, what's going to go best with the graphics that I create. And I know that it's a little easier for me to say that because I'm the person that is creating all of this stuff for myself. But if you have a great designer that you trust, that you're comfortable with, you know, get them involved in the process. Make sure that you ask them like, What's going to work? What colors? You know, a lot of people may not know what colors work well together. So like, okay, if we're going to use this for my brand and this is the color, you know, of my logo, then, you know, what's going to work well as far as photos go. So I had a great experience, loved my photos. And so from there, I had the website done, my photos, and then just backtracking, I just mentioned the logo. So that is definitely the first step of branding and rebranding. So if you're rebranding, just make sure that you take time to look at your logo, see if you need a refresh, see if you need any changes there. I personally kept my logo and my CompuR Design logo is yellow and black. And 
somehow it really still works with the light purple and just having that yellow and purple together has worked really well for me on my materials um I did not redesign my logo. One of the reasons is because I think that it definitely still works from a branding perspective and also just for sentimental reasons because I took this company over from my business partner um, some years back, maybe like 2008. And my business partner, Calvin, love him so dearly. He had had the company for a number of years prior to and then he passed the company down to me. And the logo that I am currently using is the logo that we created together once I joined the company. And it was truly just a collaboration. Um, you know, I kind of added the scripted font and he had the more black font with the yellow. And we were able to really come together, work well together. So it just is representative of our partnership in business. And, you know, I still have a piece of Calvin there in the company so my logo is visually appealing and you know represents me and my company and also it is sentimental and represents the history of what CompuArt Design stands for and how it was created from the start so logo website photo shoot the next step was marketing because once you have all of this done you're ready to go you need people to know that you're out there you need people to know what your services are what your products are what you're selling how to reach you so i decided to do my relaunch of my website and i wanted to do it at the start of the month which is now february and so i did it a few days in because I had to have my photo shoot. So I did it a few days in February and I came up with some promo deals that I'm going to have running for this entire month. So I think that that is a great thing to do if you're doing an official launch is to make sure that you have some incentives for folks and something that you can offer them that will you know, entice them to utilize you and reach out to you and use your services. So I came up with a few design promo deals for the month. So that's just something that you can think about doing just to help you with the launch so that you have some type of offering or call to action when you post your launch materials. So I then designed all of my materials for my launch so that I could post online. And I am like a true designer. I love Adobe, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all of that. But with this branding that I've done, with this rebranding project, I'm starting to be more open, which I have used Canva in the past. I haven't been a huge fan because I just love my traditional from scratch graphics. But I'm starting to really learn how to utilize Canva as well as AI tools as a tool, you know, to help you and to increase your productivity and your time management and all of those things. So I did utilize Canva for some of my graphics that I used on the website and for social media. One thing that I really love about Canva is that you can take your graphics and turn them into moving graphics. Um, not necessarily video, but like moving graphics so that it really can make an impact and reach people and stand out. So I created like a really nice reel that I used for my first day of promoting and launching the site. I utilized a really nice head to toe shot of me and um, I took a pre-existing Canva template and just really customized it for my brand and my fonts, my colors and all of those things. And I created it into a moving graphic that I used across my social media platforms and I used it as a traditional reel. I also used it on my stories and I also used it to text people 
and I'm going to be doing an email blast. So you can use one piece of art, even if you tweak it for various uses, but you can take one piece of art and really use it across multiple different platforms to reach people and to promote. So the different platforms that I use for my social media that I use to promote my brand with this project is Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. So those are the different platforms, the five different social media platforms that I use. And of course, make sure that you put some music with your reels and your graphics because it just makes it that much better when you post a story and you have some music with it, things are moving and all of that. So you really want to make sure that you have something eye-catching, something that's going to grab people's attention, something that looks professional and well put together. So along with the visual representation for your graphic materials for your promotions, you definitely have to make sure that you have the right captions and the right wording. And don't forget your call to action, which in my case is visit the website. <laughs> so if you don't remember anything else, please make sure you put the link. Please put your website link. Please tell people how they can buy your product or whatever it is that you have. So I came up with captions. Um, I kind of did one caption, but I did tweak it like for LinkedIn. You know, you have different audiences on LinkedIn, Instagram. So you can have pretty much the same messaging, but you may want to tweak it a little bit depending on what audience it is that you're reaching. So I mentioned a minute ago, chat GPT and AI for utilizing when you're doing these things and so for me i have been using chat gpt there's other platforms that you can use for ai to help you with your writing and your wording so i don't really recommend just completely letting an ai tool write your wording for you or your messaging um, i like to come up still with my whole wording from scratch i even utilized it for my website as well so i make sure that i write everything and then i'll just run it through chat gpt and you can just give a prompt like um, do you have any rewording for this paragraph or you can just ask does this sound okay you know or another option so i did run things through chat gpt just to make sure that everything sounded the way that I wanted it to and then posted my messaging and my graphics together. So I was so excited yesterday with that and I spent the night before making sure that I tested everything. So that is definitely a key piece is making sure that you go through your website, make sure that everything works, make sure that your links work, make sure that your contact form works, make sure that you do all that testing before you launch so that everything is working properly. And again, utilize your network, utilize your people. Um, I sent the link out prior to making sure that I had some key people in place to add an extra set of eyes to the project to read things over, test the links, make sure that everything looked good to go. So I did all of that the night before. That morning, I woke up at about 5.30 in the morning, which was yesterday. And I woke up that early because I wanted to make sure that I had my information out there early, like before 8 a.m., before people really jump on social media. So I got up at 5.30. I made sure that, you know, I did any last minute things that I needed to do. And another thing is that this stuff takes time. It's fun and the finished product looks like, you know, it was easy to do, but everything takes time. And making sure that you put your reels up, you have your music, you have your messaging. And when you're dealing with like five different social platforms, then, you know, it can take a little bit of time. So 
I woke up super early. I got everything out there. And today I'm going to be working on creating an e-blast. So all of the social media is going. I did some other posts today as well. And today I'm going to do an e-blast. So I'm going to use some of those same graphics. And I personally use MailChimp. You have um, other things like Constant Contact and other platforms that you can use. And I'm just going to reach out to my current clients and my network. And, you know, don't be afraid to reach people in various places. Reach them on social media. Reach them on email. I've texted some people links, you know. And it may seem, even for me, sometimes I feel like, oh, my God, I'm doing too much. Or people get sick of me. No. Put it out there because people need to see things more than once and people are scrolling all day. They can miss your post. So make sure that you continue to post regularly so that you can just get in people's minds and then when they have a need, they can say, oh, you know, I know what she does. I, I remember that, you know, I remember the services and what they offer. So be sure to consistently post throughout your launch period and beyond and reach those people, reach your existing clients or people you haven't heard from in a while just to remind them, I'm here, this is what I have to offer, this is my new offering. So the next step for me is going to be doing the e-blast. By the time I post this, I'll probably have it done so I can you know, put that there as well to show you guys. And I'm just really excited. I'm so great to be able to have the time to focus on this and put it out there the right way. And if you guys are looking to brand or rebrand and you're looking for a trusted designer and marketing person to work with you, definitely keep me in mind and you can see everything that I have to offer and reach me through my website, compuartdesign.com. And, you know, I'm more than happy to take on new projects. I love doing this stuff. Branding is so fun to me and exciting. Um, I have done things for people who are just starting their businesses as well as existing businesses where you may just need a refresh of your company and your branding. So thank you guys so much. I hope that these tips were helpful for you. And definitely if you've checked out my site and you have any comments or critiques or anything, feel free to leave them in the chat. I'm always loving to hear from people and loving the feedback. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.